Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody's going to cut out a file, something like this. But now that I look at it closer, there, there's red that's backing up the black. So it's a little bit different than I thought. So this is his logo, and it's really small. He's going to cut it out on a plasma cutter. Plasma cutters aren't friendly to nodes. So if we click on this, there are... 961 nodes and this thing is little i mean it's only 12 inches by less than three so my suggestion first would be to get rid of some of these nodes that didn't really change the logo that didn't change the logo that didn't change the logo um that didn't change that didn't change didn't change didn't change. You can do every other one for sure. And a lot of times you can do more than one. Uh, your straight lines are good because there's only, you know, one node. It's a weird line. I wonder if there's two sets of lines. Nope. So let's just go back. That changed a little bit. So that's your prerogatory, uh, what you think you want to do. But I just go through here and change, you know, especially on the square ones and the little bit of round ones. Uh, change your nodes. I mean, delete them. Um, I am changing the logo just a little bit. But on a laser engraver, the nodes wouldn't really matter. But on a plasma cutter, uh, the plasma cutter goes between node to node. Now, this was probably going to change. Nope. But see, like there's three in a row that don't need to be there. And actually, you're going to get a smoother cut. And so I'm just going to do the top word, and we'll find out how many nodes are different. Um, your straight letters are good. That E is off a little bit, but that's your prerogatory. I mean, look at the curvature of the R. Uh, that doesn't need to be there. Didn't really change it, didn't change it, didn't change it. Well, I changed it a little bit, but you could, you know, do things to bring that back, kind of bring it back to where it was. Um, you know, the S is, it's a cool logo, but uh, get rid of some of the, and so like that changed a little bit, but if you'll click on this node, you'll get a handle on this one. Well, let's right click and Turn it into a smooth. Well, it's not letting me do it. But anyway, just get rid of some of these nodes. Um, you know, I'm not changing the logo, but minutely. Look, look at that. Three nodes right there, two nodes. So in just a few seconds or a minute, and I'm not going overboard. Let's see how many different, no, uh, changed it a little bit. So go back and just take away those two. Then it didn't change it. So there's actually more nodes on the smaller one. But let's look at it now. We had 291. Now we got 823. So here's what we need to do. For some reason, this is a control curve. And that's maybe why he's having trouble. So I set your nudge distance on three. I set your duplicate distance on zero, zero, which really doesn't matter. But just pick the Smart Fill tool and nudge up. And uh, just do each letter. This is probably why you were having trouble trying to contour it. But what, what the Smart Fill does is creates a new object. And that's why you would probably want to reduce the nodes first. Okay. Now we have the new item. I'm going to left click, right click, make sure it's a hairline to cut. There's your new, see this just has a weird line. That's probably what your problem was. So now you can take and use the boundary tool. And then this is your boundary. And I am going to go to effects and contour I'm going to contour the outside in, in black. 
I'd really rather do it in red. And look at that. Now we got a little bit of a problem right there with the C. Let's back up here. Whoop, don't, don't, don't do that. I don't know why it's not a C. Um, let's just try contouring it again. I don't know why that's doing that. Um, let's, you know what, let me back up. Let me look at under wireframe. No, there's really nothing there, but we can fix that. Go up, go back to enhance. Let's go ahead and contour it. It's only that C part, but what we can do now is just alter that. And we can take the, let's just take a two point line and go from right there to right there. Of course he draws in black. And then let's take the virtual segment delete key and delete that. Well, whenever you can't do anything, you got to break the contour part, go to object, break contour part, virtual segment delete key and delete all these extra lines. Now, we've changed that a little bit. Um, what I would do now, I would get rid of these center parts that it contoured. I would just take my virtual segment delete key and delete that. And you could put a little bit of dip on there if you want. But what we need to do now is take the Smart Fill tool and go right here. And this is going to be your um, well, it is or is it? Uh, that's going to be your, you know what? Let's make this your, I'm trying to figure out, because this is how I would do it. And then um, if you weren't going to do something like the other, let's, um, let's make a duplicate of that, move it down. Let's left click, right click. And really we want just the outside. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a rectangle, take the smart fill tool and fill that in. And there is your outside of your letters. And then when you, uh, of course we need to probably contour it. Let's take, a, let's go here, go, Left click, right click, and I'm nudging. That's why it's working. You know, I actually think that would work. No, we need to get rid of the outside line. So let's do this. Well, that that's what I was kind of looking forward to doing. Let's do this and contour again to the outside. Break the contour apart. Because he said something about bolting them together. So then you could nudge that down and nudge this down and over. And if the red line was a solid, well, this will work. If the red line was a solid plate, um, well, let's just do that. Let's make it a, let's see what color that is. It's with black. Let's fill it in with black. Go to black. And let's, um, Make that plate red. Go up to object, order, front of page. And that's what it's going to look like. Now, he did mention that he had uh, a specified space to put it in. So I think we're bigger than that. But once you group this together, control G. And then I think he said it was like, let's say it's 11 and a half. And unlock your ratio, and let's say it's just three inches. That'll change that, and now it'll fit in the spot you were looking for. That'll be pretty cool, because the, the black is the um, backer piece, and the, I grouped it together. Go up to object, group and ungroup. So the black is the backer piece, and the, the other is another piece of metal color. Painted, I guess. Anyway, I hope that gave him some ideas and thank you for watching.